What's up, Facebook? What's up, YouTube? Um, I hope all is well. I hope you guys are having an awesome week so far. Um, this is my Wednesday night uh, Bible study, just in just a few minutes of encouragement. I know everyone is not able to um, go to Bible study because of kids and work schedules, and but I know everyone has their phone. So I just want to just encourage you on today. Something that I learned. And I just want to pass it forward to you all. And um, before we get started, I just want to say a quick prayer. I promise you I won't hold you guys long. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, thank you, Lord, for touching me to be able to convey a message to the people. Father God, allow somebody to be able to hear this message and help them to be able to grow, Father God, like never before, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for covering us on today from our head to our feet. Thank you, Lord, for covering our families, Father God. Thank you, Lord, for everything that you're doing in our lives right now. It's already done, Father God. It's already done. Our prayers that we're asking for, it's already done. That's all I'm hearing in my spirit. It's already done. I don't know what they stand in need of, but the Lord is saying it's already done. So thank you, Lord, for covering us. Thank you, Lord, for keeping us. Thank you, Lord, for helping us be mighty. Thank you, Lord, for helping us be strong, Father God, when we're weak, Father God, giving us strength, Father God. Thank you, Lord, for everything, for giving us life, Father God, waking us up this morning, Father God, and allowing us to press through the hard times, Father God, and allowing us not to be able to give up on ourselves, our family, our finances, stress, and dealing with it, Lord, just... Thank you, Lord, for the people staying to thank you, Lord, for the people to remain committed so they're not taking themselves out, committing suicide. You know, it's just numerous of things that could be going on, Father. Thank you, Lord, for peace in the midst of the storm. In the name of Jesus, amen. Um, what I want to encourage you guys on today is um I want to talk about mental health. Um a lot of people don't talk about that. That's like a touchy subject. But I just want to encourage you guys to let go of the past. Let go of the past. I'm working on that right now. And uh, to share a, a quick secret with you guys, I am I have a mentor in my life, which is my pastor. And he's mentoring me maybe once a week to help me overcome the past. When I tell you guys that it's so vital to let go of the past and it he it help it helps heal you, it helps make you whole, makes you better, it just restores you when you're realizing that you are aware now of why you're acting the way you're acting. I have I've had a problem with sleeping with multiple women a week when I was living by myself, messing around with three and four women a week. And uh, with me having a mentor in my life, and he helped me realize that I haven't gotten over my childhood issues of being bullied and being called ugly and being called big head and long head and ET and all these different names. Girls used to say, oh, he's ugly, so I don't want to sit by him. And I never got over that. So what happens is I got older, and I wanted to sleep with different women to help validate, oh, I'm not ugly, I am good looking. That's just something small that men continue to, to just keep bottled up, and they don't want to talk about. So only thing that I want to encourage you guys on today is... It's okay to receive help. It's okay to be better. We think that as men, because I have been taught this as well, you're a man, you get yourself together, you control your emotions, you're a man. That's what you're supposed to do. You stick your chest out, you handle it. But it's okay for somebody to talk to you. It's okay for you to go to the next level, go see somebody counseling, a therapist, uh, having a mentor, having a best friend to confide in. It's okay. And I just want to touch bases with you guys on this on this scripture here. 
Romans 12, chapter 12, verse 2 says, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. But if you catch that, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Because when your, your mind is in the process of being renewed, what happens is it unclogs all that dirt and all that stuff that's in it. Now you can be able to think and now you can be able to see the will of God for your life. Because you got all that out. It's no different. It's no different than when you're drying clothes. And you got to get that dirt out that vent. So you can be able to uh, be able to dry your clothes effectively. You got to get that out in order to be able to dry your clothes effectively. So I just want to encourage you guys on today. That you are more than a conqueror. The Lord is your light, your salvation, whom shall you fear? The Lord is the strength of your life, of whom shall you be afraid? Don't be afraid of letting go. Don't be afraid of getting help. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. And I'm receiving help to become a better man, to become a better minister, to become a better cousin, a better friend, a better um, son, I'm just trying to become whole. And if I'm on my road to getting all these impurities out, I can believe I believe you can as well. I love you guys. Be blessed. And have an awesome, awesome, awesome week. And remember, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. I pray you all be blessed. 100.